Molly, put the put the leash on. You got it. Go ahead. Is you've got one task. We're cleaning up the room. You're Just like, give up. Mm -hmm. So we are at the Canyon Campground in Yellowstone National Park. Check it out. Got the road glide. Camper's ready to go. I don't know if you can see it, but we got the canoe on top. Over here we have Molly doing a thing. We got our fire pit. Two chairs, the Arctic cooler, the cigarette button. Bucket. Back here we've got our uh, grill, little picnic table with some bug candles. Over here is actually a tent pad, but it's ours, so we've got our generator sitting up on it, plugged in. Got, uh, these are some seats with backrest, dry bags, life jackets. And here, you got the motor, the battery, and pedals. Keep you updated. <laughs> Babe, it says uh, you're supposed to keep off of these areas. You gotta stay on the walkway. If you could just maybe lay off the sauce. They have three post offices. They have three? It's a tiny civilization. Okay, so they also have, and this is way more, but we did need gas for the generator, a general store, groceries and souvenirs. So that shopping center's right behind us, and our campground is right there. So I feel like this uh, paddling thing has been a whole uh, two-person job until uh, now I'm just a, I'm a water taxi. Right here is how we're transporting the 14 foot long canoe and an eight foot long truck bed. Now do remember, this truck bed is eight foot. Your standard truck bed is gonna be six feet. So quite the, uh, quite the watercraft to transport on a truck bed. But we seem to have it, uh, and by we I mostly mean my uh, girlfriend, seems to have it under control. Right Mara? Right. Yeah. Yep. Yo. <laughs> she just just messed my whole freaking lunch up. The sandwich is it's all floppy and weird now. Where could go? Oh, oh! <laughs> it fell apart. Killed my sandwich. Give me back my ring.
just a heads up. Jeans and boots, not Yellowstone attire. I'm dying. She's pretending she's okay, but she's dying too. Man, two hot springs. Thumbs up, thumbs down. That's, those are two fingers which are not your thumb. What, would you give it a 1 out of 10 rating? Would you do it again? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I said mammoth. Would you do it again? No. I would not. I think I almost bet my maker up there. I think that, no, if you drive to that, uh, there's a pool up there, you can drive to it. Okay. I think all the way up there is mediocre. I agree. So you can drive to the top and get the same experience that you can get by committing suicide up the stairs. We're going chasing waterfalls right here, right here, no, right there, and then right there. A TLC would be pissed. Just so disappointed. Because we, because we are going chasing waterfalls. Chasing waterfalls. Yeah. Mara breaking all the rules. Stay behind this. Nope. I do understand why though. Fluffy boys are over there. There you go. I'm not getting a whole lot. No. I'm waiting on somebody to get mauled by a bison. That's all I want to. Oh, there they are. There are park rangers. Look at this. Look, there are park rangers. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> And this kid is Gerardo. Don't be a Gerardo. He is right next to me. <laughs> the traffic jam has gotten worse. These are very inconsiderate bison. All the bison we've seen so far have been considerate bison. one and done failed over it no like when you take a shot and it's stronger than you thought is the s'more stronger than you thought it's hitting most of the spots <laughs> what spots is it not hitting the gooey ones <laughs> So we left Yellowstone this morning. It was incredibly rainy, incredibly cold. Uh, I rode my motorcycle with like 10 layers on. My motorcycle is parked at the very bottom of this windy, windy road. It's about four miles down at the bottom of this dirt logging road. We are right outside of Gardner, Montana, which is outside of the north gate of Yellowstone. We got the generator going. We're just gonna watch some TV and camp up here.
So we're traveling from uh, right outside of Bozeman and we hit a really windy pass. Canoe on top of the camper caught wind and flew off into the middle of the highway. Fortunately enough, my man here pulled over with his 18 wheeler and helped us load up the canoe in the back. Bring it over here so we can situate our stuff. I didn't catch your name, man. What's your name? My name is Paul. Bro. Paul? Good yeah. to meet you, Paul. I appreciate yeah, yeah, your help, brother. I appreciate that. We will we will make sure to do that. Like I said, Paul here pulled over and helped us get the canoe loaded up in the back of his 18 wheeler, brought us here to Bozeman. Doing the good deeds, doing the thing out here. Our man Paul is hauling a load full of barrels of honey. Hooked us up with some honey after saving our ass. Let me also just give a giant shout out to Coleman because this canoe went flying through the air on the highway at 80 miles per hour and I don't see a damn scratch. Also, I'm gonna link whoever made that cup holder in the description because whatever you need, strollers, golf carts, whatever, that, that's the cup holder you should buy. You can wreck it and it'll stay right there. No promises on your beverage. So we're just gonna Load the canoe inside of the camper. Works right. And we're back. In business. Alright, so now that we have finished dealing with the canoe, we are at the location we were trying to reach, which is Yellowstone Harley Davidson. Let's check it out. just wiped them out of all their t-shirts and they had some really cool ones just not my size not a large selection of motorcycles um, but you know it's Belgrade Montana I did get my Yellowstone Harley Davidson poker chip with whatever waterfall this is that's in Yellowstone so I'm happy see you Yellowstone so we got back from Yellowstone yesterday and today we are taking off to Flathead Lake. Let's go. Freaking cute. Hi guys. Hi. Hold on, hold on, I'm sorry. Oh, y'all are 